Hey guys, um, jumping right into it. I missed some of the recording. I don't know what's going on with my phone, but anyways, that is beef Angus top sirloin. Um, I had some pink Himalayan salt there first that I was seasoning that with. I'm going in now with ground black pepper. That is my garlic powder. Next, I have my El Paso hot and spicy taco seasoning that I'm going to go ahead and put on my meat. Um, I sped up this part. <laughs> it looks a little bit weird. But anyways, um, basically um, working the seasonings in there really good. Um, I was distributing my Smart Balance um, original butter. I don't know if it's actual butter, but I like to put the steak in there and um, cook it in like this griddle thing. I'm not sure what it's called, but I like for it to cook evenly on both sides. So I'm trying to split it up so that it can cook evenly on both sides. And then once it browns a little bit, I turn it over. I had this little thing on about 250 because that steak is thick and um, because I'm cutting it up into smaller pieces even after this I wanted to make sure that the steak was still going to be tender and not too tough so you don't want to cook it too high and you do want to cook it in some butter or something like that um, you know just to give it a little extra flavor and like I said cook it on, cook it on low and let it get a little bit tender I'm adding some lime in there which I actually meant to add earlier and almost forgot, but my boyfriend reminded me. So I went ahead and just added some lime in there as well so I can cook in there with that. And um, stirring that up some more, just making sure all the seasonings are in there. And by that time, it is time for me to take it out. I do like my steak well done. Um, medium well to well. It doesn't have to be completely 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 well done but it needs to be as close as possible like I said I did want it to be tender <laughs> a little bit of strugulation going on there I'm um, trying to get all that steak up out of there but uh we shall prevail <laughs> All right, that's my steak prior to me cutting it in smaller pieces. And this is my steak after I cut it into smaller pieces. And you do want it to be cut into smaller pieces for the sake of the burrito. Um, just so with every bite, you can get a good, nice piece of steak or pieces of steak. And, you know, it's not too much. And they're tender. And they were so tender. All right, so I cleaned that pan out so that I could go ahead next with my other meat, which is shrimp. All right, so I have my shrimp here. Um, this is just great value. It's large shrimp. Um, it's already, uh, the tail is off and it's divine. And I'm basically going to season that with the same stuff I seasoned my steak with. So that's my ground, uh, I mean garlic powder, ground powder, my ground black pepper. Y'all know I do not measure my seasonings. Um, my pink Himalayan salt, had to get the camera together. <laughs> Putting some pink Himalayan salt on there as well. Um, I just like to cover the meat really good. And I always stir it together, especially when it's like different pieces like that um some more of that hot and spicy taco seasoning um and i'm gonna just take that wooden spatula and stir it up really good together just so everything can be seasoned thoroughly and seasoning is on every single piece of the shrimp that's important to me And now just using some scissors to cut that up. Actually, I lost some footage. Um, my steak didn't come cut up like that. I actually cut my steak as well with the same scissors. I just cleaned everything off. Um, but yeah, so I cut that up. I don't know what's going on with my phone and why it's taking away my footage. But like it sits like it'll record and then it's white like the footage is white so I don't I don't like you can hear everything but you can't see anything so I don't know what that's all about 
All right, so I'm just basically moving that butter around just like I did for the steak. Just want everything to be separate and cook with butter. Um, I just think that's a good way to do it. My dog is always in the back trying to peep game, <laughs> waiting for something to fall on the floor. <laughs> he is hilarious. Anyway, I'm going to pour that shrimp in there, my little shrimp pieces. Try to make sure I get all that seasoning up out of there. <laughs> yeah, a little tap tap. And moving that around. Also want that to cook evenly. So I don't like for it to be stacked up on top of each other. I just kind of like to move everything around. And I didn't forget the lime juice this time. So I went ahead and added that in kind of early. Like I should have done the steak. But what ifs? I got it in there. All right, so I'm just, as that's cooking, just moving everything around, trying to turn over pieces that may need to be turned over. You know, shrimp don't take very long to cook. I also cook that on about 250. Oh, that's just me pointing at my dog because he's always by my side, especially when food is involved. But yeah, so it's about time for me to get ready to take that up out of there. Um, I don't like real juicy shrimp. I kind of like my shrimp to be a little bit dry. Um, overcook my shrimp, please overcook it. I don't like super juicy shrimp. I know some people might, but I need to know my shrimp is done. That's all I'm going to say about that. So I'm just taking it out. You see, that's a little bit easier than that steak. That steak we're trying to fight back. All right, so for my large burritos, that's the Ole large uh, burrito tortillas, and I use two of them. My little trick that my mom taught me is to wet the burritos. So what I'm doing now is just getting some water um, that you're going to see me just kind of spray on the burrito with my fingers and um, I do it on both sides of the burrito. Um, So I'm just basically showing you what I do with that. And then you'll also see what I like to do before I put it in the microwave, because I do put it in the microwave uh, for 15 seconds. Um, but before I do that, I take a napkin or paper towel, wet that as well, I damp it, and I place that over the burritos or the tortillas rather, not burritos, they're not burritos yet. Um, and then I put that in the microwave for 15 seconds. I'm using some Uncle Ben's Ready Rice Spanish. You just put it in the microwave for 90 seconds. Usually like to try to make rice, but didn't feel like doing it today. All right, so now for the burritos. So first you wanna put your rice down. And I'm sorry, I'm like kind of covering up what I'm doing, but putting that rice down first. And just making sure that it is all broken up. Um, next, I'm going to go in with my meat. I'm using my steak to put over that. And then <laughs> I think I might have giving that piece to my dog no i didn't oh I, oh it must have been a big piece i'm not sure what was going on right there <laughs> um taking that and uh now i'm putting my uh, shrimp on there and i'm gonna go in with some pico de gallo and sprinkle that across there it was so good it was so delicious Okay, it was delicious. Now I'm gonna use my queso southwestern cheese. This cheese is so freaking good. Y'all know everything will be in the description box. So, um, I think it was like kakik or something like that. Kakik. 
I'm not sure, but it was so good. Yeah, that's some good cheese right there. All right, just trying to gather everything so that I can do this burrito. I was a little bit, didn't know where I wanted to go with it. So you just kind of take and pull everything back and then you tuck the sides. And this is just me doing something, you know, I wasn't taught how to officially roll a burrito, but you just tuck it very tight in, into the sides and then you roll it over and then basically blood out burrito burrito and so to keep everything together i'm gonna go here i use some more of that smart balance original butter just putting some of that on there and i'm going to actually take and place my burrito down and just cook my burrito on all sides um, so I can get not only like a little crunch to it, but it'll also help for everything to stay together. Um, and I'm just basically moving some of that butter down into the burrito so that it can cook. And I'm, you know, just letting that cook. <laughs> And excuse my oil on the on the um <laughs> excuse my oil. My boyfriend was been supposed to pour that oil out. I can't even I think we might have made some chicken in there uh like yesterday and he didn't he never poured the oil out like I asked him to and I'm actually just realizing that the oil is on the stove while I'm doing this. <sighs> Shaking my head. Anyways He's, he's the best still. He's still the best, even though he didn't pour that oil out. <laughs> I'm just basically cooking my burrito on both sides. You saw me flip that over. And I'm also going to show you how I like to cook the burrito on the sides as well. All right, so I'm cooking that on the sides now. I think I count to 30 on both sides when I cook that, just so all four sides can be um, basically... What is this called? Toasted, I guess. Yeah, like toasted. So it's not like super duper toasted on the sides like how it is on the front or at the bottom, but it's toasted good enough. So I just basically do that on both sides of the burrito. And like I said, I count to 30 um, and then I take it off. All right, so now just basically cutting my burrito for you just so you can see the insides and how everything turned out. Um, the burrito was trying to run away from me as I cut it. <laughs> as you can tell, it's always some type of struggle going on. Trust and believe. And voila, look at that. You see the steak, you see the shrimp. Of course you see that rice, uh, the cheese. Um, you see a little bit of the pico, but it's kind of camouflaged in there. Oh, it was so good. It was so freaking good. Now, I do put hot sauce and uh, sour cream on top of my burrito. So delicious. Ate it with some chips. Mm, mm, mm. Thanks so much for watching.